Hi, this is Victor from Six A Minutes, and now we are in the new Ramones Museum talking to Temperance Movement. The Temperance Movement, it would be. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. that's a right near. A deeper cut, this is the name of the new album that will be released. When will that be released? February 16th. So a long time still the release. So who am I talking to? The Temperance Movement. It's I'm Phil. Uh, I'm Paul. Phil, we know each other. Paul, we don't know each other. And I think, yeah, you're, you are the right one, Paul, because I got a quote from you. This is um, yeah, your favorite album of the mm -hmm. Temperance Movement. And if I can say it in my words, it's stripped down to the pure uh, essence or something. Stripped down, no fat on it. That were the words I read. I think, yeah, I think that's um, that's that's accurate. I think that 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 comment was actually something that Matt said, um, but it was a you know it was a a kind of theme that we referred back to a few times when we were making any decisions when we were making the record. It's kind of like you know everything had to be there for for a reason. We we kind of especially in the earlier writing sessions for the for the record we kind of had a bit of a mantra of just you know simplicity i love this album i was able to pre-listen the album and i love it and wow i'm looking forward to it and what is, this, is it that you didn't do here in the promotional text there is it is written you improved concerning songwriting what is different what didn't you do on this album um, thank you. Thank you very much um, for for saying that. And um, we we are, we are very proud of the record uh, and the songwriting. I think that after two albums, we kind of always prided ourselves in 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 being songwriters together and individually. Uh, This record was this record came about from from us wanting to try and top the first two. We wanted to make the best record yet that, that the Temperance Movement had made, and so I think we wrote it in the way that I, that I have always said that the band works. The band works in in in, in different ways. It works. Uh, as a band, as a unit in a in a rehearsal room, jamming, a lot of things come from that. Things that just spontaneously happen. Um, things like um, caught in the middle started like that. And Paul just kind of bullish start and uh, Simon picks it up and everybody joins in and it suddenly becomes a a, a song with sort of instant catchy caught in the middle, and that's how that came about. Other things. Other things were were sort of fully written. I've, I I wrote a lot on the piano, try to get back uh, back to some kind of soul element, some kind of um, uh, introspection, a little a little bit of uh, personal comment, um, and there was th songs that started as riffs and uh, musical passages that you know from Paul or from Matt as well who joined and started writing along with us um there was scope for different types of grooves because we had a different drummer and uh the you know and and and, and part of the fun of it was a combination of writing with somebody new and introducing somebody and welcoming them, them into the band i think we just wanted to to be our best and so we threw everything that we had at, at the record to try and make it As, as as good as we can. Paul, you mentioned or you used the word simplicity, simplicity, and uh, as a music, no, as a as someone who loves music, very often bands with the second or third album they start using orchestras and it's getting bigger and bigger and it's getting boring. ACDC is a band who's fantastic. They keep simple. Okay, they don't move on that much, they don't develop that much, but they keep simple and they stay in themselves. Is it what uh, what you wanted to do or what happened? 
Um, <clears throat> I think that, you know, we're into a lot of different things musically and we would like to explore other sonic sort of landscapes as well because, um, you know, we, we talk about having a choir on records. We, you know, there's a lot of music that we listen to that's much broader sonically. Than sorry, sorry, I must ask a question in between. Which landscapes, what do you want to explore? What is it? Um, probably everything that we're inspired by musically. And between us, we listen to an awful lot of different types of music. Um, and between us, we're capable of a lot of different types of music. For example, Phil is a great piano player, and that's something that we weren't really using on previous records that we have on this one. But at the same time, I think that um, w when there's five guys and you're spending a lot of time on the road together, um, and especially with two new guys in the band, there's also a real, the, almost the most exciting thing is to kind of find out what you're capable of between the five of you. How um, far can you take the, the talent and ability of just these five people? Because it's kind of, you know, it's a, it's a brothership and, and um, we all, we, I guess we feel protective over it and that kind of comes out in the, the writing and recording of the music as well because we're proud of what we can do together and we're proud of each other's talents and we respect each other's talents and we kind of feel that there's so much on offer there that we haven't finished getting the most out of yet so why br why bring someone else else into that and i think for this record because we had two people there that hadn't made a temperance movement record yet it was kind of important to explore that with them before we widen it but that doesn't mean we won't widen it Our viewers, they are not only fans of your band, they might not, perhaps might not know you. Who are the two new people? What do they play? Drums? And who, what's the names? What are they? Uh, Matt White uh, took over from Luke Potashnik on uh, guitar. The band has two guitar players. Um, they're both rhythm players and lead players. Yeah. And they, they, they swap those roles around. And... Um, Matt brought a lot of colour and texture and rhythm and um, into into the playing, and and I, I I think I think just between him and Paul working exceptionally well together, a new guy comes in he's got a different range of tricks and effects and uh, he also comes as a bit of a fan of the Temperance movement and uh, you know. I, as did Simon. Simon was at a lot of our um, first shows and I think wanted to be in the temperance movement. And that that makes the, the other guys in the band feel great, you know, and it kind of reminds us about the band and how, how good the band can be. So they, so, so they bring sort of a new energy, you know, to us maybe at the end of two albums when we're feeling a little run run out of ideas um uh simon lee is our new drummer and um he he plays in a different style to damon he has a looser style he, um he has much more of a swagger and he has he has a great personality at the drum kit i love watching him play and um he has The, the most terrifying eyes that I have ever looked at. And I, at first, when I looked back and I didn't see Damon, I got a fright, you know. Um, but I've, I've, I've actually, we, we've, 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 we've really connected. And we all show on stage our true selves, our personalities really shine through, and, and our, our characters, our stage characters. And... Um, I, I really, I really love what Simon has brought and what Matt has brought, you know, because I think, I think it, it's maybe true to say that both those guys have have really kind of kept the band going sometimes, you know. 
No, there's a second reason t to watch uh, the Temperance Move and to go to a show. First of all, your music, it's cool. Listen to a concert from me. And to get that picture you just described, to see your new the new guy and Crazy with eyes. frightening eyes. <laughs> <laughs> a reason to go to the show. Feb 2018, uh, Deepa Cuts, a new album. You said um, you welcomed the new guys. When did this idea to do this kind of album, this mantra, when did you have the idea when they came, when you started playing uh, with them as the new guys, or was it a plan for a longer time, or was it a welcome? When did this idea um, occur? I, I think to be, to be truthful, um, it was the right time to make a new record, and Matt, for example, was extremely patient because he joined um, just after we had made White Bear and he had to patiently wait for 18 months before he was able to get involved in in the making of a new record even though he he kind of desperately wanted to move on musically so um, it, it was about um, kind of completing the the cycle of White Bear and, and the kind of the emotions of that for us as well and our relationship with that record and, and being ready and in the right place, having also lost a couple of band members to um, get stuck into a new, a new record. It worked out. I'm really fascinating by the new record. And um, I was the one who mentioned better songwriting, but what is better songwriting or what is good songwriting for you? What did you do differently? It's you stripped it down in a way. And songwriting, what what is it? Is it just to do it differently, or what does songwriting mean for you? So, well, I think songwriting should be diverse. I think one of my favorite bands are the band, you know, with Robbie Robertson and Richard Manuel, and, um, because they they covered the range of rock and roll. Um, from you know blues and um, country soul, um, the 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 different ra the range of different musics that are in America from Memphis to Nashville, um, it's, it, it's it's people from the UK don't really understand that you know I you know you'll meet somebody and they say well I play I play Memphis piano. You know, and I don't really know what that is, you know, but but in America, it's uh, it's, it's it's very very much like that. The band sort of took all of the all of the different styles that made up rock and roll and presented them to you, um, I, I, and I think that that's what I always wanted the Temperance Movement to do because I, you know, we have we have we have first and foremost a, a, a heavy sound, a rock sound. Uh, and that that's what we wanted to do. You know, I love the Black Crows and, and, and they're they're a band that changed my life and seeing them uh in the nineties when, when they were when they were touring Amorica, I uh I want that that that's just I wanted to be in a band like that, you know, with two guitar players, a singer, a bass player and a drummer. And and I wanted to I wanted to do that and that's that's how we started. But we we also wanted to uh, you know, we also wanted to honour the the great songs that were sung, you know, from you know, from Otis Redding to, to Neil Young to um, you know the the whole sort of gamut, um, and through the first two albums we, we were we we kind of were a rock band and we 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 made the decision with the second record to go heavier than the first, so. So before we recorded our third album, we went into a period of stripping it back and we did an acoustic tour. We did two acoustic tours and that's how we met Simon. So he came in um, as we were taking it down a little bit sonically. And I think we really learned something there um, about what the band could be if, you know, if we retained that element. So that's what we tried to do. So we, 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 we blended both the the two guitars and the the rock sound with the, with the mellow acoustic s sound. I love to hear that because that's something we love to do as well. To go back to do it easy, 
not complicated, do not huge things. And sometimes you learn what you, where you come from, what you really love, and what's really important. It's always, uh, for at least for us, a danger to forget that. Proud on the rec uh, proud on the pole. This is something we we'll say. Wow, um, it's a whole record. Everything I'm proud of it. But is there something we we'll say that we did that? I love the sound and how we record it. Is there something we we'll say? Oh, so wonderful! I'm so proud of that. Something special. Um, I'm I'm proud of the whole thing. I I guess um, the 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 songs that are less traditionally temperance movement that are on the new record i'm most kind of proud of and in and sort of invigorated by like children which is a song that phil wrote on his own but you know it's kind of like phil and i are both huge ryan adam fans and we we kind of um often listen to that in the dressing room before the show and i think that that that's a real connection that phil and i have and um, that song kind of reminds me of that kind of thing where it's it's all about the song really you know there's there's no guitar solos or it, it's not even sonically particularly um, big or it doesn't have much of a journey sonically because it doesn't need to because it's just a great song and it the, the song itself does everything it needs to so you don't need to add to that we don't really need to add to that in fact when the guys recorded that in the studio i didn't even go and play in in the in the room at the time i just sat in the control room and listened and i had added a tiny bit of something you know afterwards um but it, it's it's finding the new sides to the band or or presenting the new sides to the band because i we know that they're there we know what we're all each capable of and we know what we love as well so we know what's in us but but obviously you guys don't until we put it on a record so it's important that we do that and that's that's why that's what we've done with this album that we haven't done in the past and that i'm most proud of or pleased that we we managed to get on the record yeah i will i always have pictures or sentences in my head they'll pop up keep the tradition but go on and um before I ask you the same question about what is it something special you love on this record, um, did the fans have the, the fans on your concerts? The, the, did they have the opportunity to listen to some of those songs, or are they are they fresh? They will be out fab, and then we will be able to listen we, to them live. We've just been touring in the UK at some very small venues compared to the kind of places we would normally play in the UK. Because we wanted to um, present these songs to our audience in advance of the album coming out, so they um, had a chance to kind of start to develop a relationship with the music before the record comes out as well. And then we'll go and do it again properly in the bigger venues and in Germany um, and all across the world once the record's out. Phil, I'm sure it worked out. <laughs> and back to be proud of is that something where are you proud of on this record not the whole thing something special was it it worked out so well and i love to hear this and then oh we did this song or we did this rhythm or this chord whatever it is is there something yeah i, I mean i i really love i really love backwater zoo and i love that the band loved it i love that simon loved it and that paul loved it and um and um, it, it 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 brings in an element, it brings in that sort of Elton John, um, Leon Russell, sort of vibe that I that I I just love, and and which is uh, that is that's rock and roll too, you know. It, it's it's not it, it's not always really loud and heavy and Black Sabbath and everything. It's it, it it's it's fun and it's entertaining and it's funky, um, and. Uh, I'm proud of I'm proud of the fact that it was not there is introspection and there is sadness and there is the revealing of pain in some of the songs but that's not all that is on there there is a sort of victorious cry that we will continue and and Backwater Zoo is, was was something 
I, I love it because it was inspired by my, my little girl, my daughter, and uh, it was written, and it is a hopeful song. It says, keep going, don't give up, forget the past, forget regret, move on, you know? And, uh, and, and I, ne I need to hear that in my, in my life, and I'm glad that we actually said it. So did Love and Devotion says that also. Um, and where we where we where we where we're loud and and where we're brash, I think we got it just right, and I think that we balanced it perfectly on on the third album, um, with with intros introspection and and some mellow songs. And I'm incredibly proud of the record because it was just, it was very sad to lose uh, Luke and Damon, and I'm very proud that we that we kept going and that we that we managed to to move on and 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 to 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 make it to make a new record that honors the temperance movement i think i think as well that like the backwater zoo is a great song to mention because it's also something that we we needed the new members of the band to record a song like that yeah i think and we actually had a we we have um kind of attempted that kind of groove before and it it didn't really work we didn't you know it didn't quite come off and this time it did and and um as well as uh it representing a different side of phil's songwriting and having piano playing and you know the kind of um new orleans piano funk element that we all love but hadn't got on a record it also kind of um welcomes the new members of the band in in a bit because because it's the prob probably the best example of us doing something musically which we could have only done had the new guys joined yeah. normally you now this is the perfect moment to say thank you very much because we can't in German music can't top this answer nothing better than this what you just said but one question for me if I listen to you, you did a lot of thinking. Does it happen because the interviewers talk to you or do you think about all that in advance? Do you have all the thoughts? Normally I think you just get together and it happens. The album happens. Did you did that lot of thinking before, what you're explaining now? There's so many thoughts behind uh, the record. I, I think the, the songs that, that were recorded are the products of... A, a huge amount of thought, a huge amount of emotion and, and experience. Um, I, I think as musicians and as a band, when, when you get together, you don't really think, you don't really, you don't, you don't sit down and say, right, today we are, let's look at the board and we're going to do this. You know, um, it just happens. And music is that, most wonderful thing that it, it sort of lasts in a sort of different place in a sort of non-real place um, where the lyrics can change meaning over time the the sound the sound of the music can um, can inspire you and, and change you throughout your life um, there is you can't think about it it just happens we are we're just we, we're lucky enough just to, to have the 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 chance to make music together um but but we know that it's something that uh, is very very powerful and much bigger than us thank you very much it was a pleasure talking to yeah, you thank the you. temperance thank movement you. at deeper cuts feb 2018 and uh, my last word music is pure emotion and um, it seems that you know, there is a lot of emotion in your city. The Temperance Movement, one of my favorite rock and roll live band. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you. you.